Hello Linux lovers, my name's Wimpy, welcome to my world. How is everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Uh, I see a few of you have been able to join me at this irregularly timed live stream. Uh, yeah, it's uh, quarter to two in the afternoon my time, as opposed to about midnight, which is usually when I do these things. So uh, this is new. I can see a few people have joined us in, uh, in the live stream. So thank you very much for stopping by. A uh, little bit different to uh, what we usually do this time. Um, it could be a longer stream than usual, or it might be really short. Uh, it, I really haven't planned this one at all, uh, other than a brief conversation with uh, one of the collaborators I work with. So, um, without further ado, I think we should uh, we should bring in the chat. So let's uh, let's say hello, everyone. How are you all doing? I think I've said uh, welcome to most people in the chat. Oh, crikey, there's quite a few. Uh, I see some American uh, people here. So Adam, hello, welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, very good. Uh, hello, Luke again. Uh, we do miss you. Uh, Giovanni, hello, welcome to the stream. Um, and Linux Paul, hello. Um, <laughs> of course your Windows 10 laptop needs updates, uh, Paul M. That's how it goes, right? Uh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, I mean, uh, Luke, if you want to just add to my um, uh, sort of aggregated watch minutes, that's absolutely fine by me. You, you just put it on in the background. Don't even have to listen for me. I wouldn't want you falling asleep at work, for example. I know you like to listen to my dreary tones in the evening to nod off to. Uh, hey Mac, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, is that Fluffy Fluffy Fluter? Hello. Uh, I think this is the first time I've seen you in the stream. If not, well, welcome back or welcome, whichever it is. Uh, Paolo, hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, Henrik. Uh, hello. Oh, Alan Pope says it's time for fish and chips. That does sound. Uh, that does sound lovely. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, so welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm kind of surprised at how many of you are, are, are available this this time. Um, well, welcome. Um, so, uh, Upstream Mate Desktop have been working on point releases for the stable release of uh, Mate Desktop. So there's some packages which have been updated to 1.24.1 and there's even a couple that are at 1.24.2. Um, and what I want to do is uh, update those packages in Debian. So that will go into Debian SID. So I'm going to update this in what's called Debian Salsa, which is where uh, Debian packages collaborate. Uh, and I've spoken to my um, sort of my Debian sponsor, who I work alongside in that project in Debian, to say, hey, I spotted there's, uh, there's new packages. And he was like, yep, me too. Um, and I said, well, I've got some time to update those. And he was like, brilliant. So we've just had a quick catch up. And he said that, you know, if I can find the time to update those packages, then he would uh, he'd gladly see those updates. So I'm going to be working in Debian, updating the packages in Debian, committing all of that to Debian Salsa. Um, but then what I'll be doing is I'll be uploading those new packages into a PPA for Ubuntu, both for Ubuntu Focal, which is 2004, and also for Ubuntu Groovy, which is the upcoming 2010 release. And that will go into a PPA that the Ubuntu Mate QA team use in order to make sure everything's working correctly. And the plan here is we upload all the new stuff into Groovy, and then we'll file what's called an SRU to say we want all these maintenance fixes uh, into um, uh, Focal. So those of you that are on the 2004 LTS release in time, probably a two or three weeks from now, because that's sort of how long that QA process takes, will get these updates to the, the maintenance release of Mate. So that's what I intend to do. Ordinarily, um, I'm a little bit more prepared. Even if I wasn't doing a live stream, I'd be more prepared for this. I would have already pre-generated some uh, package diffs between the different versions of Debian and Ubuntu, and I've done none of that. I don't know how many packages need updating, um, and I've done none of. I've, I haven't looked at the delta between the last time I touched these packages and where they are now. So I've got. Well, this could go really well, or it could be terrible. 
but we just don't know. So uh, let's just have a look. Um, oh, Chinmay, I'm glad this works for your time zone. Yes, I imagine this is good for you. So you're in India. Um, ordinarily, when I'd be doing these, uh, you'd be fast asleep. So um, I'm glad that you're able to make one of these. Maybe I need to try and find a way to squeeze these in a bit more um, regularly at um, a more compatible time for other parts of the world. Hello, Hal, welcome. Hello, Paolo. Um, what have we got here? Hello, Daniel P. Uh, thanks very much for joining the stream. Welcome, welcome to your first one. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> 3 a.m. live stream incoming. Uh, I've been... I have been thinking about like trying to do a lot a real long live stream because I've got lots of catch up I need to do. I'm sure the Ubuntu Marty team are going to be delighted. They're, they're all asleep probably right now. They're they're mostly in the, in the US somewhere, or maybe maybe they're getting up about now. Some of them are. It'll be early morning because they're in the in the west. But um, uh, yeah, uh, I, this is long overdue. I've sort of had a bit of a break from Ubuntu Mate. Obviously, we've had some other projects here since the release. And then we've done the, the Raspberry Pi stuff. That was obviously uh, uh, Ubuntu Mate related. Uh, and we released the uh, 2004.1 uh, images for Ubuntu Mate for the Raspberry Pi yesterday. So you can find those on the Raspberry Pi website. Well, uh, there are 42 people in the live stream, which seems like the most appropriate number to begin. So um, uh, let's have a think. I suppose we'll go here. And uh, what I've got up on, the, well, let's actually switch to this tab here. So this is uh, Debian Salsa, salsa.debian.org. Uh, this is like the GitHub for, well, actually, no, it's the GitLab. It is GitLab. It's the GitLab for Debian package maintainers. And as you can see, the project here is where the uh, Debian and Ubuntu Mate packaging team uh, hang out and collaborate. So the last time these would have got any serious attention would have been uh, just shy of the uh, Ubuntu 20.04 release. So we're going to jump in amongst this lot and figure out what needs updating. Um, I then have a PPA here. Um, this is a scary PPA with a big fat, you can't see it, but if you add this PPA to your system, it's an ASCII art skull and crossbones to make it very clear you shouldn't be here unless you're part of a Q18. Um, and these these are the, the, the packages uh, that I upload for the Q18 uh, to review. Um, and we're interested in looking at focal. They should all be, oh yeah, there's a couple of experimental ones here and there, that's fine. But we'll be bobbing some new packages in here for focal and some brand new packages for Groovy. And the way I uh, do this work is I always um, prepare the packages and submit them to the Ubuntu PPA to make sure that they build from source successfully and there's no like obvious problems before I send the commits up to Debian. So um, I, I'm probably a little bit more thorough than some people because I could just go through and bump all of the version numbers and just go ah, commit that. But um, I suspect there are gonna be some changes in the upstream Debian um, packaging that I haven't seen before, so I want to review all of that and make sure everything's fine. Uh, and uh, I think with that we should probably begin, and I'm not quite sure where to start. So over here we have, uh, this is where we publish the new tarballs for uh, the Mate project. So in here I will periodically see a, well here we go, here's one a 2004.1 for the keyboard library um, and that's and then also for the audio mixer library there's a, a 2004.1 and you can see these have been arriving over the last couple of days and I don't think they're all done yet and there's the the weather star and so on and so on so there's plenty of those now there is a sort of a build order in Marte so I need to, it's been a while since I've done this uh, like, well, at least done a big uplift like this. So I'm going to go and find uh, a little script that I used to run a script to automate all of this. 
which I could have done, but that would have made for a very boring uh, live stream. And anyone that's tuning in to try and see some of the insight in how Debian packages and Ubuntu packages are maintained would have learned nothing. So I'm gonna do it all by hand, every single package which is a bit laborious and you'll probably find partway through a little bit repetitive, which is why I wrote a script to do it. But I'm gonna do it all by hand here today. So um, as people drop in and out of the stream, because I expect cause it's gonna run for some time, um, then hopefully um, uh, everyone gets to learn a little something. Oh, there's a dot two hiding down here, Mate Common. Okay, that's, uh, that's the uh, main build package. And that's the first package in the, in the build order. So uh, let me just have a little look here. Um, what have we got? I'd love all streamers to use UTC. Uh, yeah, that would be good. I used to work in uh, the aviation industry and everything in aviation is UTC. It makes for um, uh, fantastic synchronization. Unfortunately, we're, we don't get that luxury. Okay, so it's early in the morning for Joshua, who's uh, in Eastern Standard Time. So it's 10 to 9 in the morning so yeah I don't think many of the Ubuntu Mate team in the US will be up for a, at least an hour or four um, before now right then so I've got Visual Studio, an empty Visual Studio code somewhere here it is um, so let's um, and uncharacteristically I'll be running all of the git stuff by hand today I think yeah I think I'll do you know all of the all of the um, all of the git changes by hand and where's the view terminal there it is so I have my development directory and in fact there it is Debian PKG mate this is where I said mate did you hear that so uh, this is where all of the packaging happens and let's bring up a script that I have, which I think is called bulk. This was this is the, the script I was referring to earlier, uh, which is the uh, script I used to use to automate all of this. So if you look down here, I could poke some values into this and um, after it had got some initialization, it would go through and do a whole bunch of stuff automatically. I'm not gonna do that today. But we are going to use this as a reference for the build order. So, uh, as we can see, Mate Common is the first package we want to go and update. So let's go here. I don't have any diffs, that's interesting. Cool. go me. Oh yeah, I suppose not for this one. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna um, pull with a rebase uh, from upstream just to see if there's anything new. Uh, and there is. So they, it looks like, hmm, well, let's see, what did they change? Uh, oh, it was an upload. Okay, so you can see here, this was me. Uh, creating the new release and then this is Mike my uh, uh, my sponsor in Debian uh, doing the upload so that was the only change there so we'll do Debian change log so 124.1 already so we know that this is going to be um, 124.2 um, I think I'm right in saying that. Let's just go and take a quick look. So, Mate Common, yes, was 124.2. So, um, so DCH is a way to update the Debian change log uh, somewhat automatically. Um, <laughs> just had a big notification appear over here. Um, Right, so let's let's go and uh, oop, do that. So there we go. This is unreleased, and that's probably all I need for the purposes of a Debian upload. So I'm going to um, add that, even though um, I haven't built it yet. Uh, 
Uh, and as you can see, uh, fish shell is leaping to my aid. It knows the sorts of things that I type in these directories, so it's already giving me sensible history for what I've done before. So I have committed that one because I have a high degree of confidence this is going to be fine. But what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to change this here to Ubuntu 1 and we'll make it focal 1.0. And why I'm making these suffix changes to the version is because I want to upload these to a PPA. And I also am quite likely to upload these into the Groovy uh, archive uh, with an Ubuntu suffix whilst I wait for Mike to catch up. Because Mike tells me he may not upload these packages to Debian SID, the unstable branch of Debian, until next Tuesday. And I'm about seven days away from feature freeze and well, 10 days away from feature freeze in Ubuntu for 2010. So I wanna start jamming this in the 2010 archive quite quickly. So I'll probably upload these as um, Ubuntu exceptions. And then when Mike catches up next week, I'll force a synchronization from Debian to Ubuntu to get everything aligned back to the upstream uh, version. So, uh, I'll just have a quick look in chat. Um, okay, you're all talking about time zones, you nerds. Time nerds. Right. So, uh, that's that saved. So, we'll now build uh, the package. Um, oh, ah, of course. How do I do this? Uh, I think I've got, um, there it is. We still, we still use uh, what some people believe to be an antiquated convention, but we still use uh, the get original source um, in our rules package. So that's pulled that. So now I can build it. Uh, oh, um, This is my uh, key signing for packages, and that looks good. So we'll deput that to the playground. This is this PPA where um, we put new packages. Oops, I need to be in the right virtual screen. Let's try that. So that's uploading for focal, and now what we'll do is we'll just change this to say groovy. So the other advantage is that we've just had, so now I'm going to build exactly the same source package for Groovy and then we'll upload, oh, uh, let me just tuck the chat out the way so you can see what I'm doing here and then I'll just change this to upload the Groovy package. There we go. Right then. So if we now uh, bring up a browser and take a look here uh, and refresh what I'm looking at focal at the moment. So we should see, here we go, we can see, here's our pending package here, uh, which is building for AMD64 and you might think well why is this building for a single architecture and that's because this package is just a collection of scripts and configuration for the build environment for everything else that Mate has. So it, it, um, it builds on the AMD64 but it's just uh, assembling a collection of scripts and configuration so it's not architecture specific and therefore it doesn't need to build on the various ARM and other exotic architectures. So that's uh, going just fine. And if we flip this switch here, I wonder, yeah, there's Groovy. Now it knows that Groovy is a thing. And there we go. There is our same package building for Groovy. So that's on its way. Um, I think with that, we'll, uh, let's go and find out what the next package in the list is we should be working on. 
So, uh, Mate Desktop. Let's go and see if Mate Desktop has changed upstream. I think it probably will have done, or if it hasn't, it will do shortly. Here we go, Mate Desktop 1.24.1. And if you click the news file, oh, okay. It doesn't understand that mime type. But in the news file, it will tell you what has changed between uh, the previous release and the current one. So we know we've got a, a 2004.1 there, so let's go and get that. In fact, I think I'll also start a new, a new file in here. This is going to remind me like which packages I've updated <laughs> because otherwise I'll forget. Um, let's just call this Marte 1.24.1. MD. Okay. Um, I'm loving seeing that I don't have uncommitted changes in my local branches, considering I haven't touched these for some, well, months in fact. So uh, we're all up to date apparently, so if I would just take a look at the last update. Um, wow, oh, reproducible builds, nice. Okay, so that, that's quite that's quite old. Okay, so um, we know we're going to be doing um, 2004.1 in this case. Um, and now we can see, so we'll add that the reason I do this initial one is um, generally it should be fine and if it needs anything more complicated that's the point at which I'll unpick any um, any commits. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, I'm just catching up in the chat. I, I, I thought I saw. Hello, Antec Designs. Welcome to the stream. Just having a read. You're still talking about time zones. Move on. Yeah. Uh, so, Wadden says that they love Marte, but they don't like the way uh, the notifications are handled. Uh, can you elaborate? Can you let me know what you mean by that? Because, you know, you could always fix and improve things, but I don't know what that means. Um, right. So, Joshua, I think you're talking about the packaging for you guys in the repos. You'll just carry over the Debian folder. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. So for reference for everyone else, Joshua uh, in the chat here is the uh, lead and maintainer for the Ubuntu Cinnamon Remix. And I know you've been facing some challenges recently getting some packages in the Ubuntu archive. Um, so Joshua, if you can just explain what you're referring to with the way that uh, the packaging works in Mate and how it may differ from Cinnamon, uh, let me know. Uh, there may be useful information we can share there. Um, right, so a bit like before, we'll, um, we'll now change this suffix. Now, what I didn't explain before is why am I changing this one to a zero and then putting Ubuntu on the end? So that zero is lower than one. So in Debian, it will be one, a higher, ver a higher sub version of dash zero. The reason I do this is I expect to upload these into the Ubuntu archive, but then go and synchronize them from Debian to Ubuntu. And I can only do that if the versions in Debian are newer 
than the versions in Ubuntu. So this is why I make this subtle, subtle change here. And we'll um, do this and add focal. We'll now um, build up, no, get the tarball from upstream and build. Oop. Oh, ah, right, it looks like I don't need that patch anymore. So, um, I need to go and take a quick look at the Mate. Well, let's go and look at the patch first. So, what was it, 2002? So we have a convention in the Mate packaging team to number versions by um, where they originate. So if you look in Debian uh, patches and then read me, uh, you will see uh, that 2000 uh, numbered patches are apparently only relevant for Debian stroke Ubuntu. So that means there must be a genuine um, merge conflict or um, or that this whatever this patch is is uh, in fact upstream so let's take a look at this one oh it's quite possible that this is a merge conflict because well, let's go and have a look. So let's go and look at upstream. This is where my heart sinks a little bit because this is a trivial patch, but this could burn up some time if it is not upstream. So Mate Desktop is the org that we use, and then Mate Desktop is the actual package that we're working on at the moment. Um, and we were looking in, I think it was configured AC. Ah, right, that's master, which is already being revved to 1.25. Uh, odd numbers, a bit like old kernel um, versions odd numbers are the um, pre-releases, pre-release snapshots. So let's just have a look at the history of this file. Ah, look at that, there we go. So there is in fact uh, the patch uh, that uh, Chris Lamb made. Uh, Chris Lamb used to be the Debian project lead uh, and had a real pack or well, has a real passion for um, reproducible builds. So in fact, uh, I don't need to carry this patch in um, in our packaging anymore because it is in fact in the upstream package. So what we can do is this. We will um, get rid of 2002 reproducible patch. We'll code. Um, remove it from the series. There we go. And then I'll, I don't need that open, that's for demonstration purposes. And then we'll um, That's fine. Yes, 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 of course. Um, so we'll add the series here. And then, so the other thing is we have a very prescriptive um, sort of um, commit log process. So I'm going to say uh, drop this patch. 
and then uh, I'll just tuck the thing away so you can see what I'm doing and then we say applied upstream. So now it's clear what's going on there. Okay, so now if I try and rebuild that source package, there we go, that source package build completes. So now we can um, put that in our PPA. Hey Nate, whoa, Nate, that's very generous of you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's lovely, very kind. Um, uh, I'll use this as an opportunity to say that um, any um, money that this channel generates uh, goes directly into uh, developing and supporting this channel and the community around it. So uh, thank you very much for that. I've recently uh, paid for premium subscriptions to a couple of bots in our Discord channel. So um, uh, that's where some of the money has been spent already recently. Uh, and there's a couple of bots in there that I'd like to uplift because I found them to be particularly useful. So thank you, Nate, I appreciate that. It's very, very kind of you. Also delighted to see my chatbot works and that you're duly credited at the top of the chat there. Thank you. Um, okay. I haven't been paying attention to chat. Have I missed anything important in the chat? Looks like there's lots. Still time zone chat, my goodness. Um, so Joshua says, won't always do this, but periodically via Patreon, I can fork over a few dollars to you if you need. Um, thank you, Joshua. No, I don't, personally, I don't need it, right? I, I, I'm trying to use contemporary technologies to sort of, you know, flesh out this community and create a place where we can all hang out and collaborate and work on stuff. And it's lovely that I don't have to reach into my own pocket for all of those expenses because so far through the affiliate links in the video descriptions and kind super chats like Nate's just made, uh, it means we don't, um, I haven't had to do that so far, so that's great. Hello Arubis Islander, welcome back to the stream, how are you? Right then. So Speedy B says they're loving Ubuntu Mate 2004. Thank you very much for your kind words, especially the ability to change uh, theme colours. Well, you have um, Luke uh, from the Ubuntu Mate the uh, team to thank for that. He is the person that put together all of those coloured variations with, I think, Joshua. Did you have a hand in that? Didn't you do the, the variations on the backdrop colours or something? I think he may have done. If it wasn't you, it was certainly one or the other. Um, remix collaborate I'm pretty sure it was you uh, right so I've uploaded the focal version so let's upload a groovy version uh, yeah Joshua didn't you do the recolored um, didn't you uh, hello Linux Tutorials, welcome to the stream. Uh, I think it's the first time I've seen you here. Yes, Joshua, it was you. Yes, I thought I thought it was you. Uh, is Ayush? Ayush? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but welcome. Uh, so let's uh, put that up. Uh, we'll take this groovy version. Right then. So if we just take a quick look in the uh, browser here. So if we just focus on the groovy rebuilds for the moment. Oh, that's brand new. Oh, so that one worked, that one worked. You can't see it's behind, by, behind my head, but there we go, good tick. So common worked just fine. So next in our build order is going to be, uh, uh, user guide. Let's go and see if that's changed. It probably hasn't. I'll be way down the list here somewhere. 
user guide. No, that hasn't changed. I suspect, yeah, lib, yeah, we know, we know the Mate keyboard uh, libraries have changed. So let's go and just check what version it was. It was 124.1. So let's go and update those. That's right, yes, thank you, Joshua, for all that you did in Ubuntu Mate. Mm. Yes, I, I, it wasn't so long ago. I was doing some work on, um, so Joshua points out about using image magic uh, for some image transforms, not GIMP. Uh, and I discovered this as well. I was doing some work to uplift some of the uh, art assets in Ubuntu Mate and found that image magic, or I use graphics magic, which is a sort of a more secure fork of image magic. Um, I found that to be uh, particularly good at creating uh, optimized um, versions of the images. Linux. Ah, uh, uh, Linux, you are Keshav. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I, I know you. You've been around the Ubuntu community forever. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, so, uh, McPhail, hello, by the way, uh, says, one thing which fr frustrates me uh, is knowing where to file bugs. Aha! This is good. I think we have a solution to this. So let's just read the rest. If I find a bug in Marco, I know... I, it's hard to know whether to file it on Launchpad. So, okay, that's fair. Where do you file it? Um, because you're using Ubuntu Mate, you should file those bugs in the Ubuntu Mate bug tracker. But it's always really great to do both, is to file it in both. And the upstream Mate desktop has a bug reporting template that enables you to reference downstream bugs. So I know this is a big ask, but I know you're also a very um, committed um, contributor. Uh, file the bug in Launchpad and then file the bug in Upstream Mate Desktop and reference the, uh, the downstream bug is the best. Absolute, that's like gold standard bug reporting right there. Uh, right then. We're going to be doing this one next, right? In fact, we also know that the next one after that is going to be the mixer, and we know that the weather has changed as well. So we'll we'll do these three together in uh, hopefully quick order. So let's just grab all of those. Right then. Oh. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Yeah, here we go. Here's the first one. So let's, this is where I've got a dangling uh, commit. Okay, so that's fine. That was a an override, so I can stash that. This was me making a last minute upload to Ubuntu, which should already be in Debian and, and I've synced. So we'll pull pull from Debian we'll take a look uh, that's 124.0 so we know we're going to be calling it that we can add that and then oh, I accidentally The new upstream release is what we're doing there, and then we'll this will now flip. There we go. Look, uh, the uh, <laughs> my bots are telling you to subscribe. Yeah, why don't you go and subscribe? Um, Hello Enrico, good 
uh, well, time appropriate greetings. Good morning, stroke afternoon. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I. So Fluffy makes a good point. There's nothing embarrassing about filing your bug in the wrong place. I suppose the frustration that Neil has encountered and other people um, as well is if you file your bug in the wrong place, it may go unanswered, um, which can be frustrating if you've taken the time and effort to report a bug. Um, right. So let's just change this. We'll change this to. Grab the upstream. Oh, spot the typo, everyone. Grab the tarball. This will all be looking quite familiar to those of you that are, have been, oops, been here for a while. So we'll upload this one. So um, I tell you what, there's 64 of you, great number, love 64, reminds me of the Commodore 64, quite possibly the best computer ever built, don't argue McPhail, you're wrong. Um, so um, whilst you're all here, uh, let's do those youtuber -y things. If uh, you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're getting value from it, then subscribe, and if you don't like it, give it two thumbs down. Right, let's do the same for Groovy. Why has this got stuck? I do hope my internet's still working. The stream's fine, so maybe this is something else. Let's do that and just force it up. There we go. Drop the F. We don't want to force everything. We don't even know if that's not working. Um, because I can't see behind myself. The screen I'm actually using is the same um, composited image that you all see. So when uh, when strings appear dis disappear behind me, um, I can't see them either. Right then, that's that one done. Hello Ghost, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's have a look, what have we got here? Oh, okay, so uh, what, and you don't like that the close buttons have been removed from notifications. Okay, yeah, that's a theme implementation in the notifications, so that should be relatively straightforward to add close buttons. We can look at that, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm not sure who's past 2,500 subs, um, Joshua. This channel or something else. Um, Ghost has joined us, okay. Uh, someone was asking how to get the ISO. Um, right, well, why would you not want the 2004.1 ISO, um, Sleepy Eyes Vince? Can you explain why that's a thing? Uh, yes, um, Ghost, yeah, the, I, I'm quite happy with the way this live stream's working out. We've got all sorts of um, fun stuff in here at the moment. Oh, there's another, another no massive notification on my other desktop. Let's get rid of that. Right then. Um, so next we know we need to look at, uh, it's either weather or mixer. Mixer is the next one. So we have an outstanding change. So that again, that's fine. So we'll just stash that 
will pull from the Debian archive head. Um, like so. So we'll just change this one and we'll um, Source tarball. Hello, Joey. Welcome to the stream. So uh, you can get the older ISOs. So let's just. Uh, so we're still waiting for Sleepy Eyes Vince to answer. So you can. Um, if you go to uh, cdimage.ubuntu.com, uh, you can download all of the prior point releases for a given release. Um, but Unless I'm mistaken, I think that Ubuntu and all of the flavors always reference the latest point release in their sort of default download pages. Uh, right, so. If you're um, new in the stream for the very first time and you haven't said hello in chat yet, please do say hello. We're a friendly, uh, a friendly, friendly crowd here, and we do like to welcome everybody in. So if you're new here, uh, please do say hello. Or if you've been here before and you haven't said hello yet, say hello. Um, so let's upload the mixer. the same for Groovy. So Robin, yeah, well, uh, so Robin points out that the Ubuntu uh, ISO still references 2004, not the point one. It could be they've just not had the opportunity to update the website yet. The, what you need to remember is, um, although I work for Canonical, um, Ubuntu Mate is my passion project, not my day job. So I do this stuff. Um, I fit it in around my spare time and my holidays, like today. I've got a day off work, and the reason I've got a day off work is this needed doing and the only way I was going to find the time to do it was to take a day off and just sit down and get through it all so you know um, yeah we all update our our websites and what have you uh, at a different cadence I'm rather fortunate in that we've got a committed team um, for Ubuntu Mate and there well not only do they update the website they completely redesigned the whole Ubuntu Mate website recently I didn't do anything, they rewrote it, they redesigned it, they added uh, internationalization capabilities. Communities are amazing. And the Ubuntu Mate community particularly so in my opinion. Right then. So we've built a groovy package. Did I build a groovy package? No, I didn't. I was just typing. Uh, anonymous thank you for the oh thank you for the tip that's very kind of you thank you was that anonymous I mean thank you I don't know how you would tip anonymously but thank you very much yeah I think it's a facility thank you I appreciate that so let's just push the uh, oops What have I? <laughs> Let's build a source package, shall we? Let's build a snowman, anyone? I've just recently seen uh, Frozen 2 with my daughter. Quite like it, actually. 
Uh, right, okay, there we go. So that's uh, the mixer package, and now we'll do weather. Uh, let's have a look here. I'll just catch up in chat. Uh, uh, I'll do this from time to time. We're going to be here for some time. I may as well have a nice conversation with all of you. Hello, hello, Ken Henriksen. Uh, welcome. Welcome from Southern California. Wow, you, I think you're up early. What time is it in uh, California at the moment? Hello, Zachary. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Have, have you been here before? I think you might have been. Not sure. Hello, Chris. Uh, good to see you again. Hello, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Nobody's nobody's late here. This is this is very much a casual stream today. Uh, I'll be dipping in and out of doing stuff and and chatting to all of you fine people. Um, Uh, so Ghost also says that the only thing they don't like about Marte is how difficult it is to switch the clock between 24 hour and 12 hour uh, format. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose there's no obvious uh, integration for that, but what's wrong with 24 hour time? I and mean, that's, that's, the, that's the right thing. <laughs> but yeah, you make a good point. I, we could probably look at that, couldn't we? Um, Oh, okay. With Mayak, Mayak, are you the anonymous? Are you the anonymous donor? In which case, thank you very much. Hmm. I think if you super chat, it keeps your name. I think the tipping thing. Uh, oh, Ghost. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Thank you. So Ghost's name went through. How curious. Well, there we go. Um, well, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Um, I'll be... If you've... Maybe we'll have to have a live stream at some point about how to use the money in a way that everyone in the community here gets to benefit. Yeah, we'll probably do that at some point. Because already this stream, we've we've had several donations that we could do interesting things with either you know improvements in discord or you know something specific to the channel or uh, maybe a device uh, we want to i've been doing loads of stuff with the raspberry pi uh, that's probably worth mentioning um in the description for this video you'll find a link to my instagram i'm doing like um instagram photos of the projects that i'm building at the moment which will eventually turn up here as videos I'm not going to do hardware build videos because they've been done to death on YouTube. What I'm going to be doing is um, software and hardware enablement videos around those devices. So if you want to see what devices I've been working on that will appear here at some point in the future, then go and find my Instagram and go and subscribe there because I'm doing uh, one or two uh, photos a day of things that I'm working on. Prizes. <laughs> McPhail says prizes. Yeah, we could do. We could do something like that. I mean, I do have, I do have, I, I do have some surplus equipment. So, uh, from before the the channel existed. So yeah, we could do something like that. <laughs> Get some towels for my yacht. Oh, you so funny. <laughs> right. Um, right, I try to avoid kernel work these days. I've I've been I've been through that a couple of times. Um, I try to limit my um, kernel exposure if I can help it. It's not my it's not my strong suit. Uh, right, okay, so we can stash that. Oops. Let's rebase. Um, so. Interesting, that's a new patch there. I wonder if that's gone upstream already. Um, let me just check what version number that went to the weather package. It's dot one.
So. Let's get that. This is a surprisingly hefty package, the weather package. Um, so, there we go. I suspected that was going to be the case. So, we've got a patch here we're carrying, which is a new time zone. I suspect that's probably in the upstream package. So, let's go and take a look at that. We'll uh, go and look at Lib Mate. Whoop. And we'll switch to the one twenty four. Let's just have a look at recent commits. There it is. There's the, there's, this is the patch that we're carrying in um, Debian, so we can drop that one. Uh, what patch number was that? It was 1001. So let's just close that. Uh, don't save. Uh, not that, but patches series. There we go. So we can drop this package, this patch here. And again, just so you can see what I'm typing, and also what I can see. Um, let's just catch up on the chat. Nerds have surplus equipment. I thought <laughs> it was all considered precious artifacts. <laughs> Very good, Henrik. Um, I do have a couple of surplus. In fact, um, I do have surplus equipment. A lot of the surplus gear that I have, I tend to hand out to friends and family as, as it becomes surplus to my requirements. I like to hand things on to people who I know can make good use of stuff. Uh, and in fact, my good friend, Alan Pope, I hope, hopefully, if I can find the power supply for a device uh, that... Um, he's interested in using. I can't find the flipping PSU for it, but if I can find the PSU tonight, I will be taking a, a socially distanced drive over to Alan's house tomorrow to drop off some gear for him. Um, but I do have some earlier versions of some of the Raspberry Pi cases, so I could make up like a full like uh, Raspberry Pi NES system with controllers and do some kind of competition uh, on the website with that. Uh, the website, the channel, with that. Uh, <laughs> hello, Joe Ressington. Yeah, do you like this? Yeah, Linux Luddites. Remember that? One of my favourites. Um, right. Um, so, uh, my favourite... Simon asks, what is my favourite do donation method? Um, uh, wh whatever is easiest for uh, people that want to generously contribute to the channel and the projects is fine by me. Um, oh, the HW kernel in the uh, repos, yeah, of course. Just checking out, uh, so Mike Glover says they're just checking out my Instagram, yes, and the game hat, yes. That is a fun device and of the Raspberry Pi projects, that's going to be somewhat tricky because 
the way they publish like the controller for that and also the display configuration is in my opinion as a professional software developer a big fat mess so that's going to require some unpicking to integrate that in some uh you know maintainable fashion uh, so that'll be fun but yeah i'd like to get ubuntu running on that um so that'll be a good one <laughs> hello esme welcome welcome back to the channel what time is it where you are is it, isn't it your bedtime by now um Uh, yeah, I, actually, actually, that's not a bad idea. So, Sleepy Eyes Vince, that's not a bad idea, is it? So, Sleepy Eyes Vince suggests that what I do is shorten the chat window and maybe position uh, my fat self underneath underneath it. That's a great idea. There's, there, there we go. I, I love these ideas on how to improve the, uh, the stream appearance. So, that's a great idea. I will definitely take a look at doing that over the weekend. I think that's... A top suggestion thank you for that uh, right so have we we've ditched that so now we can uh, rebuild that that's good so we can put the focal version and then we'll prepare a groovy version Oops. Hey Rick, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Rick Mills is the uh, lead for um, Kubuntu. You're going to learn nothing here, Rick. You know all of this. You're um, quite the monster package uploader to the Ubuntu archive. I should probably clarify, monster as in uploads an awful lot of packages on behalf of not just Kubuntu, but the other flavours as well. Um, yeah, a bit of love for Joe Ressington in the chat as well. That's nice to see. Okay, so Esme, glad to hear it's not not quite bedtime just yet. Uh, right then, uh, let's go and figure out what the next package is with a point release. So let's go and, in fact, let's just go and look at what's next in our build system. So I'm pretty sure the icon theme won't have changed. So let's just check that and uh, Kaha and Polkit. Uh, the icon theme hasn't changed. Uh, neither has Kaha. Mate Polkit hasn't changed. No, it hasn't. Um, so, oops. So, next we'll look for, uh, I think, Mark, I'm certain the settings demon and the session manager have, so I think all three of those have changed. Marco, settings and session. Let's just check those. Marco's got a point one. Uh, session has got one and settings has got one so all three of those are going to change so these are all pretty significant and I think a couple of those are carrying patches in Debian so there could be some work to do there so I'm just going to do that and what I'm going to do is this I'm going to just come back here um, right, I am going to uh, refresh my drink and I will be back in approximately uh, three minutes. I think three minutes is all I need. So I'll be back in three minutes. I will see you in three minutes. Just going to take a quick break.
Hello again. That was easy, wasn't it? Right, okay. Um, is there any... Oh, hello. That fell off. There we go. Right, okay. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything, anything important? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's carry on with where we were then. So, um, we're going to do Marco and the settings manager. So, Marco's the window manager, and I fear there may be some patches here. Uh, yes. Huh. I'm going to come back to that one because I don't want to unpick that just yet. That's going to be a little bit more work. So, we'll move on to let's just mark this as so that's fine that's just a, a standard Overloaded upload. So um, we'll rebase that from upstream Debian. Um, interesting. Okay, so there's a bug fix in there. That's good. When was that? that, oh, that oh, I should be carrying that already, I think. So, uh, Mate settings demon, let's just check what version of that is current. It is dot one. Um, and as you can see, this is one of those reasons why um, Debian, oh, why I like fish shell. <laughs> Hello, there's some familiar, familiar names turning up. So, uh, Tom, uh, glad to hear you finally uh, made uh, made a live stream. Welcome, welcome indeed. Uh, Chris, sounds like it's getting late for you. Uh, where the heck are you? You must be down in uh, Australia land, I guess. Or, yes, yes, Australia, but I think. Um, And hello, Polaron, how you doing? Nice to see you in the stream. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Polaron's one of the QA team for Ubuntu Mate. Hello, Mr. Pope, how you doing? It's not quite end of, end of day for you yet, is it? Right, okay. So, um, yeah, Melbourne, okay. Very nice too. Uh, right, um, settings, so we've made that change, so let's, um, did I, did I make those commits? I did. So these point releases are relatively trivial, as you can, oh, uh, since we've got to download the source tarpaul again, um, are relatively trivial because not much changes between, you know, a point zero and a point one. It's really bug fixes, so none of the build system should change other than patches that we've incorporated that we knew were in upstream that we really, really wanted that, you know, we need to, like, yank out the Debian packages. It's quite straightforward stuff. Um, however, the Ubuntu Mate team have also been uploading snapshots for 1.25, which is what will become 1.26. Those transitions are a bit more heavyweight because usually there's bumps in library requirements or new features that require new libraries that need pulling in and versioning and all the rest of it. So when I come to uplift that stuff, that'll be a that'll be a bigger job. 
but that's probably not going to happen before the release of uh, 2010 Groovy. So let's um, de put this. Oh no, I haven't built it yet. Let's go on, let's build a source package. Do you want to build a source package? Oh, uh. Oh, oh no, not these again. Oh gosh. Oh, these patches take ages to rebase. Let's see if it got, I hope it's, I hope it's got merged upstream. This is the uh, remote desktop awareness packages and they're super valuable, but if these haven't been rebased upstream, then um, it's a big job. What was I working on there? Settings daemon. Um, let's pick up 124. I really, really hope these have been merged. I don't think they will have been though. No, there's dot zero. None of these patches are to do with RDA. Oh gosh. Um, I suspect this is the same patch I'm carrying, or what rather we are carrying in Debian. Okay. Might be surprised if it maybe it's just these version numbers here. Let's let's see. Try our luck. Let's um, why does this say two thousand and one? That's mental. Okay, I'm going to dodge that for a moment. I need to speak to Mike about that because those need rebasing upstream. Uh, Tom is tuning in from Detroit. Welcome from, uh, is that Motor City or is that, yeah, that's Detroit, right? That's Motor City or is that Chicago? Educate me, Tom. Liam, welcome. Um, uh, on your way into work. Wow, that's impressive going. Are you live streaming on a mobile device? Or watching a live stream on a mobile, mobile device? Okay, uh, so we're going to skip that because I was trying to like go for the low-hanging fruit for this. So let's go and look at Session Manager. I feel this, this has RDA patches as well. I'm Okay, so there's another spec patch there. So let's go and look at session manager and see if that's had that patch. 
and merged upstream. Yes, there it is. That's the patch that we're looking at here. So we can drop that one. So uh, let's think about this. That will have been pushed up to Debian already. So I can stash that. Um, get Pull with a rebase. Yep. heard remember that <laughs> we're still maintaining that in debbie and it's a nightmare right yes detroit is motor city woohoo go we go, go me with for world trivia knowledge hello chris twix 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 tw i don't know how to pronounce that hello chris <laughs> uh right then uh let's That is going to be a dot one. Add the change log and commit the change log. Let's pull down zero. Oops. Right, uh, oh, yeah, let's get the source package, eh? Oh, yeah, we don't need that, do we? Get RM. Uh, what was that? Zero, 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 six. I need to disable caps lock on this keyboard entirely because I catch it every so often with my little finger and I never use caps lock. Just need to disable it outright. Lock session before user switch. That should be legit still. Although we should probably try and upstream that. Uh, right, so there's a focal build. Okay, so that's good. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop back to Marco because I skipped over that one earlier and which patch was it that was failing? Oh. Huh. Oh, because I haven't updated it. Um So this was Segfault. 
that must have been merged by now because that was I remember that being a big bug so let's um, let's go back here deal with Marco Oops, typo. Oh, goodness sake. Hello, Jim from QA. Thank you uh, for joining the live stream and uh, you're welcome. Uh, I'm glad you're getting value out of uh, the work that we do here. Um, let's see now. Workspaces. Gosh, there's actually quite a lot of bug fixes in Marco. So, there we go. This is the patch that I'm looking at. Unnecessary warnings about visible reason, I think. Is that the patch I'm looking at? Null point checks, no, it's not that. There we go. Guard against null changes. Null point checks. Okay, so I think these patches are upstream. So actually there's an additional patch there. I wonder if we had those both, but it doesn't matter. We've, we've, yes, it does. It has both those patches incorporated. Okay, good. So uh, we don't need that. So we will um, we'll stash that. We could, oops. Base. Ah, looks like this has already been done. No, no, okay. updated this yesterday Mike Gabriel excellent has already updated this one yesterday so let's just go and take a look at so this is already taken care of it is still a point one for Marco right yes okay so in which case this is relatively straightforward fact uh, that may already be uploaded to Ubuntu so let's go and check that out so the sync window between Debian and Ubuntu is still open so it's possible that uh, we're still all good here Come on, brain. 
No, because it was it was held. So I I need to I need to put my inversion in there for now. But we could sync that to Groovy and only change it for focal. But we'll upload to both for now. Right, get the source package, if I type that correctly. Oh no, we've got a typo there. Right. Yeah, so Sleepy Eyes Vince is commenting on my remarks about disabling caps lock. On this keyboard, I think I just want to turn it off. Maybe just turn it into shift because that's what I'm actually missing. As I as I try and strike shift with my little finger, I'm I'm clipping caps. So I might just turn it into shift on some of my smaller form factor devices like these things. Um, they have, um, well, no caps lock key, actually. This is a bad example. There are some, uh, there are some of these where, um, they have, um, instead of, oh, here we go. Uh, it's all backwards. They have here a caps lock key, which of course is pointless. And I may, on these devices where it's caps lock here or here even, turn that into tab because that's the more useful key to have now. Um, but for this keyboard, I think I'll just make it shift. Uh, right, so that's focal. So let's uh, upload you. Oh goodness, this happened earlier. Why does this, let's just kill that and grease it a tip. Come on, there we go. Um. So that RDA patch is gonna require some unpicking. I'm, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, I wanna try and burn through as much of this as possible. So we did the setting session manager, didn't we? We didn't do the settings daemon. So let's pull that up to here. Let's go and see what's next in our build order to see what we should have a go at next. So menus, panel, and backgrounds. Let's go and have a look and see if any of those. So Marte menus. Um, oh, too far. Yes, menus needs doing. Panel needs doing. I doubt backgrounds does. Oh my goodness, it does. Oh wow. Oh, maybe I've already got that one. That's a dot one. Okay. So those three all need doing, but I think we may have that one given that it was changed in February, well before the last release. So let's go and look in menus. Stash that. Oh, 
we go. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn the chat back on. Right then. Um, <laughs> Hello, Pedro. How are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be working? <laughs> Uh, right, uh, so we've committed that change. Uh, let's. Um, oh, 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 you are working. Okay, working. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get this done. Forgotten to pull my source package again every time. <laughs> right, um, let's build that one. If you watched earlier live streams, you'll remember maybe that um, when I was building source packages, I used to run them through Lintium in order to make sure they were correctly formed uh, Debs and adhered to Debian packaging policy. But because these are point releases, uh, I'm foregoing all of that because I know they've already been through Lintian with their dot zero and there should be nothing changing that affects the quality of their um, policy adherence. So we're just making sure that the source package builds and then submitting them to a PPA for a test build. Um, right then. Uh, let's think now. We need to do the same for Groovy. I'm looking forward to getting these uplifts done. I've got a few other um, updates I want to do that will make in uh, 2010, but then SIU to 2004. Really, the 2010 cycle is just going to be. Um, Apart from one significant application change I'm going to make in Ubuntu Mate, uh, it's going to be basically landing the new version of Mate in uh, Ubuntu 2010 and then making sure that all of those maintenance updates land in 2004. So it's just a, an extended maintenance cycle. Nothing too exciting. Behind the scenes there's some interesting stuff going on in the, um, the Ayatana project. We're not quite there to land that yet, but uh, probably for 2104 that will be the big, the big new thing. Um, right, uh, let's have a look. Hello Glenn, and hello Marcelo. Good morning. You must be in America. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying watching, but as a non-programmer I keep thinking of Rolf's. <laughs> Rolf Harris, can you guess what it is yet? Um, yeah, well, you know, maybe some of this rubs off on people that are, you know, interested in finding out how... Oh, Brazil, ha, Marcelo. Uh, hello, hello, Brazil. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, I mean, part of doing this is, as you can see, updating packages, just doing version uplifts is real easy stuff. Uh, and, um, you know, something that people in the community to, could contribute to in Debian and save some of those package maintainers from doing this work because this isn't tricky right i'm just basically bumping a number um so what did i do there i built it so we can um put that one in fact if you're in brazil marcelo i've got some fixes we'll be up uploading a bit later which fix a big problem in ubuntu mate for Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese users. Um, right then, so that's Marte menus. Uh, what was the next um, Marte panel? Oh, this could be something that's carrying lots of patches. Oh, thankfully not. Okay. 
Ah, <laughs> now it is. Oh, it's all RDA stuff. Oh gosh, oh golly gosh, wow. Um, okay, let's see how this looks then. Um, oh, this looks good, 2004.1. What are we looking for for Marte panel? Perfect, okay, so that's updated a week ago and it's already been updated in Debian. Gosh, that's wonderful. So we'll um, bump this. In fact, that could well be in Ubuntu already. So let's go and have a look. Yes, it is. So as you can see, uh, this package is already in Groovy. That arrived on the 13th, which was yesterday. So it was uploaded to Debian and it went through the FTP masters process, which can take some days. And it landed in Ubuntu yesterday. So in fact, I only need to submit this one to Focal. To. Uh, right, so let's um, get the source package for that. So this is quite a big package that might take a while to go. Um, okay, so I need to just note that that one was focal only. And I suspect that the backgrounds package is already done. changes yep we've already got that so that can come off the list we don't need that we'll pop that right then let's have a look um, Marcelo says I actually don't use Ubuntu are you gonna tell me you're an Arch Linux user that's usually how that conversation starts <laughs> um, oh thank you I'm glad you find the streams interesting um, that's good uh, who packages Nautilus for Ubuntu? Ghost San asks. Uh, the Ubuntu desktop team package Nautilus for Debian and Ubuntu uh, in exactly the same way you see here. So this is me making uh, changes in uh, Debian and the Ubuntu desktop team follow the same process. They go and upload the packages to Debian and then uh, sync them into Ubuntu. Ah, Fedora, congratulations. What Fedora release are you using at the moment? What kind of influence do Ubuntu devs via Debian have on the new true NAS scale? No idea. Um, I'm not familiar. Ah, so Liam, you're on your on your cell phone. Right, let's go and look. So after panel, let's go and let's go and look at what the next packages are in our build order. So themes, notification, control center. Let's go and look upstream and see Marte themes. Ah, oh, they're in a different, a different path. Marte themes. They haven't changed since that one, so that's definitely fine. So what was it? Notifications and... Marte notification demon, yes, that's definitely one we want. What was the other one? 
control center. Uh, there isn't a new control center update yet, so notifications is the only one we want to grab off that list for the moment. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put that in there, save that list. Let's go and see how all of these builds are faring. Let's go and see if there are any that have failed. Um, so I think we'll check where are we? We're in Groovy at the moment, so let's see how many of these are looking. Oh wow, oh okay, we've got the arm builds. Outstanding, that should be fine. It's just the builders are, tend to be slower there. Ah, that's not good. So session manager failed. Menus is fine, common is fine. Marco is still building. Weather was fine. Mixer was fine. And that was fine. So let's have a look at this. Mate session. Why did that fail? Why would a point release fail to build? something in the rules file. Well, that's curious. Package requirements. Not... What? Ah. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Was this session manager? I do believe somebody has broken this. So somebody dropped lib dbus glib1 dev claiming it's no longer used. And yet here am I looking at a build failure because that li library can't be found. Awesome. So we'll revert that. How's this looking? Um, so session manager, let's bump you to one dot one. Oops. Upload the new version of that and let that go through. Okay, um, rule 34 error. What? So uh, you're using 32 and 33 for Fedora 32 and 33 Marcelo. That's interesting. So you're struggling a bit with 33. Why is that? And Glenn Orkey says, I'd like to have a go at this, although I'd be scared of breaking something. Well, you know, you don't have to break something for everyone. You can break it for yourself. What, what's the harm in that? You know, if you make some changes, upload it to a PPA or use S build or P build locally and things fall apart, it's fine. It's your own mess you've made. You've not you've not ruined it for anyone else. That's just fine. 
Pedro, I am curious. Uh, the error was in line 34 of the rules file. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I, I follow now. Uh, hey, Dan. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, this is a longer one today. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of packages, uh, Mate packages that need uplifting for Debian and Ubuntu. So this is just a, a long, slow burn. How long have we been going now? I look around aimlessly at my screen like I know what I'm doing. Ah, one hour, 52 minutes we've been streaming for so far. Gosh, that's quite a long time. It must be time for another, another, another glass of Coke soon. Right then. Ah, so Fedora 33 isn't out yet. It's currently in testing. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, so hopefully that will build. So I think we'll just carry on with um, what we're working on here. So what's next in our list? We've done a notification day, and there we go. In fact, Let's just see if that failed to build on Focal as well. Because if it did, we'll, we'll submit the same change. Um, Mate session manager, wasn't it? Mate session manager. Yeah, failed to build. So we'll resubmit that for Focal. And you can see I put the the series name here as um, an approximate version. And then I tag on the end 1.0, 1.1. So as I'm iterating in, a, in PPAs for builds, if the 1.0 failed, as it did here, because, you know, it was missing a dependency, then um, I, uh, I can just bump it to 1.1, 1.2, and I can iterate through it until I've got a build that works. Then I can strip those approximations and upload them to the archive once I know they're all good. Um, so let's upload that. Uh, yes, Dan. Uh, Dan, so Dan and I, Daniel Llewellyn, who's in the chat here, we, we both live in Amazing Stoke, and um, yeah, it's it's actually reasonable. I mean, I wouldn't have been, if, if it had been as hot as the recent days, I would not have been doing this stream today. Um, it would have been way too hot to uh, to do any of that, but no, it's, it's pretty okay at the moment. Uh, right. Uh, let's have a look then what's next notification do so we're not quite halfway by my reckoning at the moment um, depends how many of the other packages are being uplifted oh, man. what's this that's fine so we'll just stash that uh, sync from Debian. So that needs bumping. It was notification daemon was a dot one, I assume. Let's just go and check. Notification daemon is a dot one. up to the archive, uh, PPA rather. Ah. 
Yeah, so Pedro, I mean, uh, you've got no excuse, right? You've you've grown up in warmer climates than this, but wasn't it hideous this last, well, week and a bit, it's been awful. Yeah, yeah, I was properly melting, properly melting. Uh, recorded the Ubuntu podcast with uh, an ice pack behind my neck and another one stuffed down my shorts. That was, that was, uh, that was um, basically... Uh, 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 my remedy to the uh, inclement conditions. Um, so let's build uh, this source package. That's good. Stick that in the PPA. I might have to have a look at how much space I've got in the PPA. Maybe go and delve some stuff out from the past. Um, and we'll do this for Groovy. Ready to build the source package for Groovy. And jam it up into the PPA. Yes, yeah, I agree, Pedro. The humidity has been, um, yeah, it's been a bit, a bit rubbish, hasn't it? I might have a change of um, music because we've been listening to this for a couple of hours. Tell you what, let's uh, let's switch things up a little bit. Let's, um, there we go. I'll have to upload my, uh, update my description after because YouTube will know if I don't put the right artist in there. Um, right, let's um, So that's the notification demon. Okay, um, let's see what's next in our build order. Um, get to notification we know control center is fine so let's go and look at screensaver me uh, media may have changed screensaver media power manager so screensaver hasn't changed media has not changed and power manager has so power manager is our next package to update Right, let's go and do this then. I hope uh, this does. Uh, this is a funky package. It carries. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, let's stash that because I would have sent copyright changes up. Um, let's just take a quick look at the rules. Okay, good there. Um, go away. Right. Um, Mm, 
<laughs> We're with a chat now, are we? Um, yeah, Ferran, yeah. You agree about the humidity. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't mind that sort of, you know, dry, hot heat. I'm fine with that. But that, you know, that just making you want to leak all over the place. Just not not uh, what I enjoy at all. Right. Um, let's have a look then. We've got that. Ah. Power manager is already a dot one. Huh. Let me just go and check what we were looking at here then. So power manager. Yeah, we've already uploaded that, so we don't have to do that. Okay. Uh, that's done already. So uh, let's go and review our build order. So after power manager, system monitor. Ah, so Atril, this is interesting. Atril represents the halfway point. Um, so Atril is the uh, document viewer, and this is where we move from the core Ubuntu Mate packages into like the leaf node applications. So uh, let's look at system monitor. Um, did that change system monitor? No. So. Atrium. That tends to get quite a bit of love, but that hasn't had an update. So now let's look. We've now we're now into uh, this one has had changes in Debian. So Dropbox and extensions. Dropbox hasn't had an upstream. Neither has extensions. If Dropbox has changed in Debian, I should see those in Ubuntu already. I'm sure I saw something. So let's have a look. There was something about not making making it clear it wasn't free software or something. Okay, that hasn't changed, but it's not withheld. So when that, I think that's going through FTP masters in Debian. So no change required right now. Um, okay, Kaja extensions. In Grandpa and I of Mate. Extensions in Grandpa and I of Mate. I've looked at that. In Grandpa's fine. I of Mate's fine. Okay. Next packages are applets, calc, and well, that we don't maintain anymore. So applets and calc. Uh, applets is an uplift, and calc is not unsurprisingly. So let's do Mate applets. If there is anyone that's joined the stream recently uh, that is new here or hasn't said hello yet, do um, say hello in the chat. We do like to welcome everyone in. Uh, so, you know. Uh, don't be shy. Say hello if you're if you're new or have recently joined the stream. Right. So we'll do that, add the change log, git add, um, oh, git add, git commit, a new upstream release, that's good. Sleepy Eyes Vince says, these behind the scenes streams are fascinating and a 
feel appreciative of the work that goes into just serving people updates to their desktop. Um, yeah, uh, well, thanks for that, first of all. But also, yeah, that's kind of the point, uh, you know, to show, you know, uh, how the sausage is made, but also to demonstrate that, uh, you know, making the sausage isn't that difficult. You will see by now I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again, checking for a version, uh, bumping the version, you know, uploading a package to a PPA to test. And once I've got all of those packages in a PPA, um, I'll um, fire up a VM, uh, pull in those updates, make sure the system still boots and everything functions, and then put them in the, the archive. Uh, I can't upload directly to Debian, I'm still seeking my uh, Debian maintainer status, I'm like halfway through that process. I mean, I, I, if I had more time, I could like follow up on that and have driven it through quicker, but it takes time to, you know, do the box ticking exercise. So let's, um, what did I just break then? Why is this still using the common Debian build system? Hmm. Oh lordy lordy, I missed, oh gosh, we really need to get rid of that. Applets have been moved. What's this? Mm. Okay, so I can see here, it's interesting, Mike has reverted a similar commit to the one that I got rid of earlier, um, which was prevented it to build from source. <laughs> Glad you like that colloquialism. Why, 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 why did that simply not just pull down? What? Okay, so that is fails to build from source. That we need to go and investigate what the heck is going on there. <clears throat> so that's to come back to later. So next in our um, build order is in applets, right? We know calc's fine, we know we don't need to do that. Indicator applet, I'm probably not gonna touch because we've got a whole bunch of work changing there, so there's really no point in updating that just yet. Indicator applet, netbook, sensors, let's just go and take a look. Nope, indicator app hasn't changed, network hasn't changed. I've already forgotten what the third one was. Sensors. Hasn't changed. Okay, uh, terminal user share utils. Terminal, I can't see if we're looking there, it is. User share hasn't changed. Sensors hasn't changed. Okay. Uh, utils Mozo Pluma hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. That's all good. Uh, Python Kaha and Decimal Virus. Just a meta package that won't have changed upstream. So it's just those two. In fact, it's just that one, I think, ha, ha, which hasn't changed. Okay, and then the rest of this, this is uh, an Ubuntu Mate package, an Ubuntu Mate package, this is all Ubuntu Mate stuff. So actually, that is our list. So we've got, that one we skipped over because we've got remote desktop awareness patches to rebase. 
and this one I don't even know what's going on there that's going to require a little poking around hello Jack uh, welcome to the stream <laughs> the magic the magic <laughs> It's not so much magic as uh, a gentle grind through some package updates today. This is this is a longer form stream than usual, but uh, it's nice that uh, some some newcomers have had the opportunity to uh, to join. Um, right, so let's go back and take a look at everything that's building for Groovy and Focal and see what's gone through the PPAs because then I can figure out what I need to um, send upstream. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at um, the focal builds. Brisk was a pre-existing dead build. So this one failed. Marco failed. Why did Marco fail? Why, why are point releases failing? What's going on? Depends. Oh. Okay. Okay. So who bumped that and when did that happen? Um, okay, let's just go back here. Dev helper in focal is 12. So that was Marco. No, no, uh, so actually, let's just go and look at everything that went through Groovy. Let's do focal as a follow on exercise. So So that built, that built, weather's fine, AMD 64 built, these are in progress, let's see how far along this is, oh really early in the build. There must be a massive queue on arm builders today. Let's go and take a look, see how that's looking. So uh, here's the build farm for Ubuntu. The builders, I think so. How busy are we looking? AMD, relatively clean. Arm is busy AF. <laughs> look at that, there, all the arm builders are chock-a-block. Powers empty, pretty much. Mainframes empty, Risk five moderate. Okay, I'm not building for risk at the moment though. Okay, so that's why the arm stuff is a little bit behind. Hello, John. Welcome, welcome to the stream. John is also a member of the Ubuntu Mate team. Uh, right, so. We know why that's catching up. I think it's safe though, right? If it built there, then we know there's nothing wrong with the packaging. We're pretty good at maintaining architecture support. So Mate menus, that's looking good. Notification demon. Ah, bother. Isn't this the same thing I said earlier? Ah, oh, what? What? How is those package requirements changed in a point release? That's a bit worrying. Okay. Okay, 
So let's go and look at Martin Notification Demon and try and figure out what's going on there. branch what changed here hmm well I don't see anything here that changes I mean the Travis stuff is just CI is that what this was brought in for no Ah, there it is. That's a bit cheeky cheeky, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well that explains it. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry. Sorry for dancing around that. Um, right. That's an interesting thing. You don't often see that in your dependency uh, bringing in. Uh, so uh, let's just catch up in chat. I see some yeah, people talking about sausages. Um, uh, speaking of, will there be an official ARM64 build of Ubuntu Mate for the Pinebook Pro? Uh, when you say official, I assume you mean like from the Ubuntu Mate community. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I have a device, but uh, the Pine community are maintaining uh, images already and I see no need to get involved where somebody's already already doing you know that good work. That's not based on the Rock 64 image. What do you mean? Can you elaborate on that, Pedro? Uh, and a Ruby Silent says, might explain why someone earlier said there were no dot one releases for Mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing them right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the the point one releases right now. It's only been over the last few days that the point one releases have been coming out upstream. So I'm uh, I'm just doing that that catch up now. Um, and Floofy says, I'm not announcing my tube streams on Twitter. How am I supposed to RT you? So this is the first stream I haven't announced on Twitter. What you're supposed to do is join the Discord in the link below and they were announced there. Um, so I was just seeing, uh, because this is a, a, an unusual time of day, uh, in the middle of a working day for most people, start working day for others I didn't announce this one I was just see, uh, interested to see you know what YouTube would make of me just saying right I'm going live uh, and see what happens John glad you're liking the discord server I'm pretty happy with the way it's going at the moment uh, we want to try and get to 500 members so if you're in here and you're not in the discord go and join the discord we're collaborating on not just this sort of thing but a whole bunch of other projects as well in there so Pedro says the current image for Mate is based on the Rock 64 image for the bare bones board. It'd be nice to have an official one, what, for the Pinebook Pro laptop, you mean, as opposed to the SBC? Is that what you're driving at? Um, if that's what you're after, uh, right, which it is what you're after. Also, ultra low latency works on YouTube, doesn't it? That's brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, the Pine community are doing a fine job of adding support, and you know I'm happy for them to, uh, you know, pick up that work. I can't, I can't do everything. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a busy boy these days. Um, so yeah, I have to sort of, you know, choose where I want to contribute. And when there's a community already doing stuff, you know, let that community uh, do their thing. 
Um, why do most channels in Discord end in Brace Brace? Not sure what that means. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have spoken to Lou Cash recently, uh, and maybe maybe we'll have another chat and see what we can see what we can do. Emojis not displaying. Emojis not displaying. Where, Joey? Ah, that means you don't have the appropriate fonts installed on your on your distribution. What what distro are you using, Joey? Yes, Joshua, still going. Um, yeah, that Pedro Pedro speaks the truth. I mean, how do you fu how do you function as a, a you know a, a human being among society without the appropriate emoji fonts installed? <laughs> right then, you must be missing out on all sorts of you know subtlety and uh, turn of phrase. Uh, I've completely forgotten what I was doing. What was I doing? What, what, what was I about to do? Uh, I've lost my train of thought. Ah, right, there was uh, a libxml package which we needed to add to notification daemon. Right. Ah. Bolleron, have a, a safe journey home. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, maybe I'll catch you later with the rest of the Ubuntu Mate team. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Okay. Someone, so Joey's on Manjaro. Somebody who's uh, using Arch, which is probably all of you, right? Because everyone's running Arch Linux. Um, let Joey know which um, font package he should be installing on his system so uh, his font, his emojis render nicely. <laughs> Sleepy Vince, nice troll. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's properly brilliant. <laughs> well played. <laughs> uh, very good. Right. Um, so we need to add a new, um, a new uh, libxml utils. Yeah. Okay. What's the dev package? So we need that and So this is going to be a 1.1 and we're going to need to rebuild that for both, aren't we? So what I'm doing now is I've gone through the majority of the changes for these .1 uh, uplifts and now I'm just looking for the build failures in the PPA. Um, I've always, well, I say always, 
in recent years I've always just upload things to PPAs because as you can see I've got a bunch of packages to update so I just jam a bunch of things in a PPA they can be building in the background it's not burning up my SSD it's not using up my CPU it's not heating up my room more importantly at this time compiling stuff and then I can go and review the build logs in the P in the in the, in the, the PPA and then um, submit the fixes and uh, so that's sort of my basic workflow um, and we'll put that one up for focal right so back to where we were reviewing um, builds That's, that was a build failure for the notification daemon right so where did we get to so there's the new one uh, that one failed and here's the session manager which has now worked so all of those should go through now and let's go and look at the same thing for focal ah Oh, how did, what did I conclude about this not working? Why did, why did Marco not build? It's not build. Package not. some failure here and I am not seeing it for looking at the moment. What? Ah, Mike Wilson is offering advice for uh, the correct fonts to install. Uh, now, Mike is Mike from Entroware, Mike Wilson. <laughs> hey Ninline, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, right, so why the heck did, uh, I need to be in the right virtual screen, why did Marco fail on focal? Okay, so, oh, hello, and Marte panel. What? Hang on. What is causing these things on fire? Oh, is this... Uh, right, this is going to be, um, right, it's going to be Dev Helper, isn't it? Okay, so let's look at, um, Marte panel. No, it's Marco. Yeah, that's why. Okay.
Okay, so that's going to need a deb helper change then. So Marco needs um, uh, and what was the other one I was looking at that failed? Uh, notification ding problem. Let's actually refresh that because wasn't that the one I just uploaded? Yeah, and that's going to same issue. Oh no, that's built this time. Marte panel. This was the one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, Marte panel. I think it's going to do that. Right, okay, so uh, Ghost San is asking what's Deb Helper 12. Okay, so Deb Helper is um, a, a build tool to um, abstract stroke automate some uh, build processes for Deb packages. And that is just a package and it has a version number. And between uh, Ubuntu 20.04 and Ubuntu 20.10, uh, that version of that package has changed from version 12 to version 13. And in Debian, which is keeping sync with the latest Debian developments, it, those um, package requirements have been uplifted to version 13 of Deb Helper, which it can't find when it builds in a PPA for Focal. So what I need to do is go in and, and bump, or deprecate, not deprecate, lower those versions of Deb Helper for those builds for Focal. So that's what I, I'll need to do there, but I'm not going to do that until I've got the other bits in place. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back to Groovy. We'll make sure that everything in the Groovy packages is done and is built, and then we'll get all of that committed to Debian, actually pushed up to Debian, and then we'll upload all of those packages to the Ubuntu archive. Yeah, they're all going to work. So they they've all got green ticks, or uh, you know that build has passed, but the ARM ones are catching up. So all of those things have worked. So we're going to push all of these changes up. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Marte common. Yeah. So um, that's just carrying my groovy bump. So that's fine. That's for my, my PPA suffix. So I've already committed these changes. So I'll just push that up to Debian. So that change is there. We will then change this to be, in fact, we'll change this to be focal because we'll, we'll play in the PPA a bit longer with these ones. So Marte common, uh, we can close that. Next up we can say, um, push to Debian. In fact, let's, um, Let's actually push this to the archive because... Alexa, shut up. So I don't need to uh, give any PPAs for this. I can now just push this to uh, the archive directly. OK, 
Okay, so that's that done. Next is Mate Desktop. Push that to the commits to Debian. And we'll just drop the suffix here. Oh, that was wrong. We know it built for Groovy though, so that's fine. Right then, um, well, we can push those. Same for later. Let's just have a little catch up here. Um, so, I'm just reading the chat here. Uh, okay. Uh, Jamie, hello. Uh, so Jamie says they've just finished work. Uh, what have I missed? Okay, so uh, we're two hours, 40 minutes in. Uh, I have been updating uh, the Mate packages in Debian and Ubuntu 2010. So I'm just going through the new point release packages and getting those upload, uploaded to the archive. Hello, Mandy, welcome to the stream. Um, is there a reason you're not putting all those commands in a mark file or a, mark, a make file or some script to automate it a bit more? So Mandy, um, yes is the answer. In fact, uh, somewhere here, um, I do in fact have a script that automates all of this and it's right here. And the reason I'm not using it, it was a deliberate thing. Uh, for those people that were able to tune in today to watch what's going on, uh, was basically to demonstrate just how straightforward it is to uplift a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, packages and upload them and test them. So I'm doing it all manually for the benefit of a bit of show and tell, so people can see what's involved. But uh, you're dead right, uh, as you can see, highly repetitive and uh, uh, easy, easily uh, automated. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, right then. Uh, I see some. I see some commentary about the uh, the, the music. Should we should we go for some lo-fi beats? Should we do that? Let's let's have a switch over. Are you ready? Here we go. Go for something a bit calmer. <clears throat> you can find uh, quiet listening in our Discord channel, which you'll find in the uh, description below, and uh, you can just pop in there whenever you like, and you'll be able to hear this playlist of about 300 lo-fi lo -fi beats. Brilliant. 
right then. So that's that one done, uh, mixer. So let's just drop the suffix for the PPA. Right, um, I'll push that. Where are we? Code. Um, let's drop the PPA suffix. So Marcelo says, uh, do you know if anyone is packaging DOAS in a dot .deb? I don't even know what that is. Could you explain what that pack package is? Or do as, is that what? Is that um, uh, the pseudo equivalent? Is that what that is, do as? Um, I'm not super familiar with it, but I don't know. I mean, we, I tell you what, let's find out. Let's learn together. Let's go and have a look. Uh, okay. Initial feeling is no in the stable, in the unstable distribution. Search for a package in experimental keyword. Doesn't look like anyone's maintaining that right now. Or if they are, it hasn't been uh, uploaded. Right. Hello, Arg van der Mary. Mary. Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Um, right. Um, I've done weather. That's been uploaded. Oh, I'm in the wrong virtual screen. So, um, that's pushed to Debian and so is this one. So Marco this already. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. 
Oh, uh, so that's but we need to sort that out. That one I need to refactor a patch um, session manager. Um, did that build okay? Let's just go and take a look. Yes, it did. Uh, change log, and then we want to upload, upload this. So you're using it to do pseudo, okay. Have we got anyone joined the stream recently that hasn't said hello to all of the uh, the lovely people here? We're a friendly crowd. And if you're watching this, uh, maybe you uh, joined after. There we go. Look, my, my bot is just, you know, doing that thing there. Um, do all those youtuber -y things. If you're enjoying this, give it a thumbs up. If you're getting value from it, subscribe. And if you don't like it, give it two thumbs down. Um, I'm sure all of those uh, those people that don't like me or Ubuntu have already given their thumbs down. They tend they tend to get in there quite quite quick. <clears throat> There's at least twelve of us. What's this? Eleven? What? I'm sorry. Eleven. What did I say? Hey, Bill. Uh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm making work for you, Bill. Uh, guess what? Your weekend's going to involve. <laughs> So, uh, Bill is uh, one of the um, Ubuntu Mate team members and um, uh, he'll be pleased to see some uh, package uplifts for Mate desktop, I'm sure, in uh, Focal and Groovy. Yeah, Bill is the man, you're absolutely right, um, John, well done. Uh, right, I've um, built that one. Session manager, I've pushed it in fact, so that one's done. So session manager is pushed to Debian. Mate menus, did I see that in the list here? Yes, that's good, okay. So Bill, uh, as you've just joined, um, what you'll find is, is in the uh, playground PPA, there are uplifted packages for Focal and Groovy. Um, so uh, you'll be able to do testing against Focal and Groovy using that PPA and what I'm currently doing is actually pushing those packages that have built successfully uh, on Groovy uh, into the Groovy archive um, and then obviously sending all of that back up to Debian uh, as I agreed with Mike earlier. I've got a little bit of work to do on a couple of packages for Focal so um, you know there's, uh, there's, some, there's some improvements and refactoring to be made there. So next is Mate menus, which we saw was all fine. So let's go and do that. Um, right then, let's drop the PPA. Build that. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. And Tamanda Tom, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, nice to have you with us. Um, we'll just put that one directly because that's for Groovy. So, yeah, Bill, I'll also be um, a slightly longer job is figuring out which of these, well, I know which packages are uh, applicable, but putting together a big fat SRU bug which incorporates all of the packages we want to see in 2004.1. I know obviously the ISO is out now but um, 
I was waiting for these, these upstream Mate packages to drop. So we'll roll all of these up. We'll have a big SRU bug list and um, we'll sign off that whole lot as a block. <clears throat> Um, right, that's menus, that's done. So this was, Mate panel was one I need to mess with for focal. So let's go and get this into Groovy. Um, So that's um, an upload for Groovy. I've definitely got the right series in there. Good. See you, Flu Fluffy. Bye for now. notification demon I, there was an issue with that one was oh I'd updated it somehow so let's oh that was the libxml one I think wasn't it Yes, Bill. Uh, it is. It's what is getting warming here now because in order to do this, I have to close the door and pull the curtains so there's no um, breeze coming through the windows. But yeah, yeah as Dan, Dan is on the other side of town from me. Um, yeah, it's much more agreeable for sure. Um, right. What did I just do? I built the package for Groovy so we can put that <laughs> yeah I mean well I mean I reckon Dan you know if we both set off walking now we could we could probably uh, bump into each other in about what do you reckon 15 minutes if you set off in my direction I set off in yours we're probably only only half an hour's walk from one another, aren't we? Not that it's a particularly walkable route. <clears throat> um, so Joseph says, where is the Ubuntu Mate 2004 USB 3 boot for the Pi 4? Uh, there isn't going to be USB boot for 2004. Uh, you'll get that in 2010. Oh man, what is it with Deeper today? Why, why are you misbehaving so? Come on, let's. There we go. Good, that's that done. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So that's that one. I need to say pushed. Debian, I have pushed it, I assume. I hadn't so that was good uh, oh and this was weird okay so I've got a few that I need to go back to so let's 
let's go and look at all of those in here to see which failed. <coughs> Risk we don't care about because that was an experimental build from ages ago. So Marco we do care about. And I've pointed out that Marco is a deb helper issue. So we'll fix that. We'll change this to 12. Ah. Oh, hang on, that's not right. Because this is now needs to be focal. changes that were recommended earlier they were a good idea so let's do this okay so there's Marco and let's see what else failed Marte panel and that looks like it so hopefully that's this one yes it is okay so we're just bringing uh, the dev helper back to the version that's in focal for these PPA builds and we'll obviously make that a focal suffix for the PPA. Oh. Uh, well, hello now, this is interesting. Mar there's another Martin, coincidence in itself, but you are also in Amazing Stoke. How is this, how is this possible? Um, welcome to the stream, Martin. Uh, glad you could join us. Maybe maybe we'll have to have like um, an Ubuntu. If there's three of us, that's that's like a meetup, isn't it? <laughs> right, yeah, the Basing Stoke stream, but not the game, right? The uh, the namesake of the uh, the epic game. Uh, so I've built the package. I need to de put it into a. P I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do this again. I've I've got. Too many, uh, too many things on screen. I'll be back with the chat in a second. Uh, so we'll put uh, you in there. Okay. So there's a couple of things I need to do. So for the purposes of focal, I'm going to need to drop that. And the same for... Marco. So somewhere in here, here it is, that's actually a lie. So when did you make those copyright attributions, Mike? I didn't see that earlier. Okay. Oh, the internet can be a small place indeed. Much surprise. Right, okay. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So we should find that those things build now. Um, so I'm left with this, which I'm utterly perplexed by. And this, which is just a, a bit of a faff to do, I need to refactor some patches. So, 
because I've got through uh, most of that now, I think what I'm going to do is uh, treat myself to a beer. It's what, quarter to five, it's definitely beer o'clock. <laughs> uh, McPhail, very good. Uh, that's uh, an Ubuntu podcast callback there. Um, if you don't understand the joke that McPhail has just made, uh, then uh, you should all subscribe to uh, the Ubuntu podcast, ubuntupodcast.org. So I do a podcast with uh, my good friends Alan and Mark. Hey George, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, so I saw I saw George in Discord. You uh, you were offering to uh, to do some game streaming with me. I totally need a, I totally need a. Uh, 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 shall I tell you something? The last time I played like a first person shooter would have been the original Wolfenstein, um, and I suck at them, and I don't want to suck at them. Are you any good at that? Those sorts of games? Could you give me some mentoring? Could we? Could we go out into some sort of, you know, uh, first-person shootery thing and you uh, unnoob me? How does that sound? That sounds ideal. Yeah, I think a co-op shooter would be would be grand. I'd appreciate that. <clears throat> um, so yeah, if you're up for that, you you tell me which game it is, and if I don't have it, I'll get it. Um, uh, I, I'm Rainbow Six is the new hotnet. What is that? Is that new? Am I being trolled? I honestly don't know. <clears throat> don't uh, aim, pray, and spray. Uh, yes, that is kind of my tactics. Also, I uh, I tend to do this thing when people uh, start shooting at me. I I kind of get fixed to the spot and shoot back, and of course I'm dead within seconds. Zenotic, yeah, Zenotic's a good game. Uh, what was the one we were playing? It was an arena shooter, a sort of a modern, uh, modern, a newish arena shooter, Bal uh, ballistic overkill. Uh, I was, I was terrible at that. So it needs to be a game without anti cheat. Rainbow Six is currently unplayable. Well, George, do you only game on Linux? Is that? Am I right in saying that? Uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, right. Whilst whilst everyone's insulting my game playing ability, I'll um, I'll uh, I'll just check on how these rebuilds are going. <clears throat> uh, so brisk menu we don't care about. Um, Marco is building on all three platforms, and as is Marte panel. Okay, so I think we're in a good place there. So we've done all of that in Debian. Um, so George says he games on, I tell you what, let's do that view there. So George says uh, I game on Windows mostly. Okay. Uh, right, we'll figure out, we'll figure out. Um... So John Aller says that Daz Geek was the uh, was only one that was any good. Are you referring to Ballistic Overkill? Because if so, he, he can't have been that good because I used to kill him regularly. <clears throat> yes, Marcelo, actually, uh, isn't that um, studio behind Ballistic Overkill uh, down in Brazil? Uh, I think they are, aren't they? <laughs> Poor Michael's roadkill. Counter-Strike Go is native and works. So, isn't so Pedro, yes, you you play a lot of games. So isn't CS:GO like um, just full of experts and like imposs impossibly difficult to penetrate as a new a new player? Am I right about that, or am I wrong about that? Um, so Bill says you're still catching up. Uh, did I do Marte menus today with uh, a plural S? Uh, let's go to the right. Um, screen. Uh, yes, I've pushed that to Debian. And if we look here, um, Marte Menus was built an hour ago for Focal, clean bill of health, and should be uh, available for Groovy uh, in the PPA and 
very soon the archive. So, hang on, back to back to the now. Now we've now we've got all of the you know all of the the mate stuff done. Uh, that's so Pedro says that's why you play with friends. So if you play CS:GO with friends, you're less likely to just be fodder. Is that what you're saying? What if my friends are excellent at the? I, no word of a lie. Literally never played first-person shooters. Don't understand the tactics or strategy for those games whatsoever. Uh, yeah, Marcelo, I thought so. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall the name either. They, they, they made that racing game I really love as well, though. Uh, Chase Turbo Horizon, I think that's the name of it. <clears throat> uh, yes, Popey, uh, I am aware that your son is properly brilliant. In fact, he's watching your son's videos that have got me interested because I'm thinking, I want to be able to do that. It looks super cool, just jumping off the top of a building and shooting somebody in the face as you're, you know, uh, finding your landing spot. Uh, it looks pretty great. Uh, so Pedro says you can host your own server as well and private matches are a thing. Okay, this is all interesting. Um, so is that the only way to sort of do CSGO is like privately and among friends? Am I right in saying if you join a public server, you're just going to be bullet fodder? Oh, and the matchmaking does an all right job. Okay, who are just as bad. All right, okay. So George, what do you reckon? Oh, Fall Guys. Yeah, so F George, I have been watching people playing Fall Guys on Twitch. I wish that was available for Linux right now. That looks like tons of fun. That, now that 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 is my kind of game. That 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 looks properly brilliant. <clears throat> oh right, old Pedro, you're really bad at it too. Oh, that's good. Okay, then maybe I'll have to look out for when you're when you're online. Come and pester you for a for a game. Um. Hey Brandon, uh, thanks for joining. Yeah, this has been a, a long one. This is like three hours. I mean, uh, not that anyone's going to hear this now, but it's, this is not one to watch back after the fact. But yeah, we've got through a load of stuff. I've got a little bit of refactoring to do. So, um, oh, hang on a minute. Pedro says Fall Guys works pretty good with Proton. You've already put three hours into it. We can just casually do Borderlands or something to avoid the sweaty PV. Um, so, George, your choice. I, I actually don't know. I have Borderlands because, you know, um, it's one of those game bun games that have been bundled at some point and I've, I've got it. You, you just you just tell me. Fun, fun first person reshooting game. I'll happily... Happily come along and uh, uh, learn from you. And Pedro, very interesting. When you say that Fall Guys works pretty good with Proton, what does that mean? Does that mean works works or is crashy or some things don't render right? Yeah, George, I'm totally up for that. Um, I'm really looking forward to having a go at something other than driving, driving games and retro gaming. Um, Specifically, shooters. I wanna, I wanna have a go at that. I know, I know people like them. Uh, okay, so Pedro says Fall Guys works really, really good. I might have to go and buy that because that looks like so much fun. That game. <clears throat> yeah, Et Legacy. Is that where I should cut my teeth on something old-fashioned like that? Should I like? Uh, get good, so to speak, on an older shooter before I try something modern. Popey, is that yes? I tell you what. Uh, oh no, you're still working, aren't you? Um, so, <laughs> Popey, is that yes that I should get good on an older shooter before I try a newer shooter? Uh, elite. Oh, I hated Elite. I know. I know. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I need to get. So also, uh, I recently tried and played. Um, what was that server you set up? Uh, Open Spades. I'm. I'm okay at sniping. I'm just not 
any good at like out in the open, you know, fighting. I'm I'm good if I can hide behind things and be a, a sneaky blighter. I'm good at that, but I'm terrible at like in the open exchanging fire. I'm ter I'm just dead in an instant. Right, this is fascinating. So, definitely looking forward to uh, some gaming options. Um, right then, uh, let's just have a quick look at uh, how those builds are progressing. So, uh, Bill, if you're still there in chat, have you got enough? All right, okay, so those two have worked, Panel and Marco. So, Bill, do you have enough information to, uh, like, give those uh, a smoke test and make sure all of that stuff's working okay? I've got a couple of packages that I need to uh, give some love. Applets, I just, I don't know what's going on there. I, I, I'm going to have to speak to Mike. Uh, this one I need to refactor, uh, which is fine. It's just a bit of a chore. I can't be bothered to do it right now. Uh, I wanted to break the back of most of the bits. So, Bill, let me know if, if things are looking good for you. Um, I'll uh, I'll move on uh, a bit later to uh, sorting out like um, the themes and things like that that we know we've got some bugs in and the translation bits that are busted. So, uh, back to uh, gaming chat. <laughs> this is a very eclectic... Um, very eclectic combination of stuff. Right, so what we got here? Um, multiplayer Doom. I know Doom. I was terrible at that as well. Um, oh, the SNES version. Okay. Hey, Phil. Um, so Phil says he's a bit late. That's fine. That's fine. D uh, so uh, Phil asks, do you know whether Chromium on Ubuntu for the Pi 4 will ever support Amazon Prime Music, not video? Um, does that require the Widevine DRM modules, do you know? Is, what, what doesn't work? Why, why doesn't it currently work? If you could let me know that. Yeah, Bill, no, no rush. I was just uh, wanting to make sure that you'd got enough information there uh, to, you know, um, do your thing. <clears throat> oh, it needs wide vine. Yeah, so in Ubuntu, uh, I am, in slow time, I'm looking at how we could cobble a solution together there. Hello there, oh, hello there, Shanthanu? Shanthanu, is that the correct pronunciation? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you're welcome. Glad glad you're getting value from Ubuntu Mate on the uh, e either on the Pi or not. Uh, glad that's helpful. Yeah, I'm doing this stream at a different time. Uh, taking some time off today, and thought I'd catch up on some some projects that uh, uh, I needed to you know uh, invest some time into. Anyway, where are we? Where are we now? We're at uh, three hour, three and a quarter hours. Time goes fast when you're having fun, doesn't it? Okay, Phil. So if it needs DRM, um, I started looking into that. I've got some ideas. I need to speak to uh, more talented um, developers <laughs> to see uh, if I can, um, if my ideas for dirty hacks are gonna float or not, and if they are, then um, I'll either do a live stream or a video about them. But I'm, I'll, I'll make it clear. If you, you know, follow me in the places in the description below, um, then uh, if I do anything along those lines, you'll, you'll see. No, those, those wrappers don't work any, anymore because of the way that the browsers are confined. <coughs> Um, so yeah, that, that won't work, unfortunately, Dan. Um, well, I think, like, we've had the main output of this, which was to uplift um, Mate to the, the new point releases. Um, I can now catch up with the uh, Ubuntu Mate team in the Discord channel, which you'll find in the description below. 
if you haven't joined the Discord, come and join us. Um, we've got a whole bunch of you know enthusiasts, everything from developers to enthusiasts, people starting out, uh, some of the leads and maintainers for uh, the remixes and what have you. Uh, we'd love to have you come and join us and um, we'll be um, adding some new features to the Discord soon, including uh, opening up parts of the uh, Mate desktop and Ubuntu Mate development discussions there so you can follow along with uh, some of what goes on in Debian, in Ubuntu and up upstream and how all of that like um, gets together. Thank, thank you for the endorsement. Yes, I'm pretty happy with how that Discord channel is coming out. We've had some very generous um, uh, donations during this live stream today and um, I've been putting the money that we've been getting uh, towards improving either the Discord or this channel, mostly the Discord, but uh, we've got some more premium subscriptions to some of the bots we're using to uh, up our game there. Yes, Dan, why, why have you not joined our Discord yet? Come on, link in the description below. I expect to see you in the uh, in the Discord uh, in the next, uh, how long have you got? Next two minutes, you've got two minutes. <laughs> right, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Um, I may do another stream later. It may be some development stuff. It may be some Raspberry Pi stuff. And if I'm feeling mega adventurous, it might be the retro gaming or um, or first person shooty shooty gaming or something. So um, yeah, come and join the Discord. We've got gaming channels. Uh, if you fancy getting together for a game of something, come and join in there. Let us know. Uh, definitely want to find some time to play some games. It's time to got some time this weekend to relax a little bit. So uh, yeah, join the Discord. Let us know. And for now. Uh, thanks very much. Lovely to see you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>